Hello everyone, welcome back to next Selenium tutorial. So today we are going to see XPath access. Access represents a relationship to the current or context node and is used to locate nodes related to that node on the tree. Here context or current node meaning the node or the web element you are currently pointing to that is current node or context node. So what exactly access meaning the relationship between the nodes in your HTML element or in your web page that is access meaning. So there are multiple things uh, multiple access names that XPath supports to represent that relationship between the HTML node. How that relationship will be mentioned in XPath HTML element is the same way how we are having in our family. So if you are taking yourself as a self that is called context or current you have parent and you will be having child and you have ancestors you are having your youngers you are having your elders so these are the different relationship in our human being we have in current society if you take in the html document the same way same names will be applicable right so there are multiple access names that xpath supports so the first one will be self so our self we call as a self so in the same way if any current node or context node there then that is called self node say for example if you are if you want to locate this particular input tag name in this particular uh, html document right so i have taken uh, this particular uh, web page this is a zoho.com uh, sign in page so this is the uh, input tag uh, that password right so this create password so i have taken if you want to look at this particular web element so this is current node or context node right so we can call this as a self right so that that's where the self comes and the next one will be a child so here you can uh, read this like select all the direct children or children of the current node right so here the direct means a lot right let's understand how say for example uh, take, let's take this as a current or context node so this has one two three four five five direct children so all these are comes under child nodes right so don't confuse with uh, between uh, grandchildren so this particular div has again more uh, children right so those children will not come under child of this particular node so whatever comes under this particular div the direct elements or direct html tag those are called as child only the direct child right not of this particular elements child run that is for for this particular tag under this tag whatever comes as a child those will be grandchildren for this particular tag those are not called as child of this particular context node so that is called child nodes right so the next one will be a parent right so let's talk about the parent so parent always only one here in this html document node say for example let's take this particular input tag as a context node so this will have this div element as a parent right just only one element it will have as a parent that's it it cannot have multiple parents that's all if you take any element in this document say if you take this particular element as a current node then this this is the parent node for this one that's all only one if you take all these three elements then this will be a parent of all these three and these three will become a child of this particular element and if you take all these five elements this will be a child for this right so and for all these four elements this will be the uh, parent element so always only one parent will be there right so that is the parent element and ancestor Select all ancestors that is parent, grandparent, etc. of the current node. Which means, so if you take any particular element in this uh, document, right? Uh, so let's take uh, this particular element input password, right? So for this, this is the parent. So this will become an ancestor for this node. And this parent's parent, this is the parent's parent for this one so this is also ancestor for the in input and this elements parent is this one then this will be ancestor for this element this element and this all for all these elements right and for this particular elements parent is 
this one so this element here and and sister for form this div and this div for all these five elements and grandchildren of this one and this parents parent is this one and this parent is parent so whatever this expanded right those are all ancestors for that particular web element now this one this one this one this one this one so all these are ancestors for all these elements whatever comes under this everything is a ancestor for that one right but if you take these two elements right these are all not ancestor for this one this will this will never be ancestor for this one because this is the sibling of this ancestor right and the child of this particular element so this will not be ancestor only parents and parents parents of parents parents of one that parents kind of it will go not siblings or not child elements right so that is the ancestor the next one will be ancestor or self selects all ancestors parents grandparents etc and the current node so ancestor meaning which is which comes under parents and all the parents of parents 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 but if you take ancestor or self if you take this particular web element this has all ancestor and ancestor or self it has this also includes it so that is a difference between that it's very simple to understand right so that is the ancestor or self and next axis is descendant so select all descendants children grandchildren etc so this is the difference actually so if you take child it's a direct children's but if you take descendant it selects all the children's which means direct children all the its grandchildren water comes up that particular element all are called descendant let's take an example if you take this particular element as a context node all these five are direct elements then that is a children of this and if we expand this particular web element then under this whatever comes child for this for this element those are grandchildren those are also called as descendant of this element right so that is the uh, small difference between child and descendants right so if you still want to get a bit more understanding see this is what we were seeing so if you take this as a uh, current node and all these are five direct children so that is child and if you expand this it has again two more children this element so these are not child of this one but descendant of this one so totally one two three four five or child and plus two or descendant so all these seven are descendants five are children so that is the difference next one will be descendant or self so if you take descendant only these elements will be descendant and this will not include the, this current element but if you take descendant or self this also includes that right so that is the descendant or self preceding selects all nodes that appear before the current node in the document what does it mean right so if you take this as a current node whatever comes before to this element everything comes as a preceding irrespective of anything if you expand this it has child everything and this has uh, siblings everything calls preceding whatever comes before this element everything called as preceding elements that's all just a simple right before to the context of whatever comes everything called as just preceding and preceding sibling so this is kind of just a bit different from preceding what do, what does it mean so preceding means it takes all the elements before to the current node context node correct but preceding sibling means if you take this particular uh, span preceding sibling means this has two preceding siblings that's all if you take this as a current node then these four elements are called as preceding siblings of this particular context node that's very simple right and following and following sibling just opposite to the preceding and preceding sibling preceding means whatever comes before the context node everything called as preceding following means whatever comes after the closing tag of the context node all the tags are called following and preceding sibling following sibling preceding sibling means whatever comes before to that sibling for the context node those are preceding sibling whatever comes after this that is called 
following symbol let's take this span context node so these two are called receding siblings and these two are called following sibling right so if you take another element if you take this one this has only following sibling this doesn't have any preceding sibling right In the same if you take this particular element this doesn't have any following sibling it has only preceding sibling right so this is the different xpath axis that xpath supports that we can understand just it is like how how it happens in our uh, family the relationship the same way so what is the relationship between different nodes for the current node so if you take current node so what what this element called for this one it's a sibling what this called as it's a sibling and this is called parent and all are called as ancestors what are come before that as preceding what are comes after that following so this is just simple terms so if you want to understand the xpath axis we have to understand the relationship between the current node or context node between other nodes right that's 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 simple it's very easy to understand right so that's all from this video guys in the upcoming videos i will upload uh, the practical way of how can we locate and how can we write xpath axis and syntax please keep watching the channel thanks for watching guys